because I don't like you no more. There's nothing between us. The only time I liked it was when you suck him up. <laughs> Son of God, I'm a sob like a wet log. Boys never get clogs. It's all full of self-esteem that I sweat for. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking, bro. I'm spazzed. That's crazy. I went from giving it to Buster twice to M pretty much smoked Buster, dog. You could never say to me I'm not a fucking record breaker. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. Nobody could ever take away the legacy I made. I never can. You could never say to me I'm not a fucking record breaker. I sound, sound like, like a broken, broken record, record every, every time, time I break a record. I am. I am, bro. <laughs>what up what up what up night nation it's your boy stevie knight about to get on one of these things you feel me go to watch night watch man about to have fun with this one about to have fun with this one hitting with a 2.0 man but it's for a reason dog we're gonna give everybody a reason to get mad for real for real bro <laughs> we're gonna give everybody a reason to get mad for real for real dog because could y'all imagine if this song came out today because <laughs> i'm wondering if is m not gonna give us this type of time on the death of Slim Shady. There's no way. There's no way possible he could do this again. And there's no reason why to do this. You feel me, bro? But I'm just saying, like, we're going to revisit Kim. And just, well, at least for me, I'm going to picture what it would be like in the world today if someone dropped a record like this. Y'all sitting here getting mad at uh, Meg Stein got shot in the foot. Or whatever the hell, whatever the hell Marshall said. Like, could I get a shot at a feet? Everybody cried about that, bro. Could y'all imagine if Kim came out today? Oh, and speaking of that, speaking of that, bro, I got to go to my DMs, dog. Because, um, like, first off, it wasn't no diss, bro. It wasn't no diss, dog. And even if it was a diss, man, fuck it, dog. It's hip-hop, bro. But, you know, all the bitches getting mad because, you know, women are too special. They're too special to get any heat from anybody, especially because Meg Stein's a strong black woman. A white man can never say nothing about her. Right. But I was sent this. I was sent this, bro. And in Meg the Stallion's diss record, Hiss, who was to... Who was she beefing with? It was Nikki. It was Nikki, bro. But a lyric that Meg the Stallion said in that song, it says, Hey, I feel like Mariah Carey got these ninjas so obsessed. And you ain't hear Marshall crying about that. Matter of fact, you ain't, we probably ain't hear nobody crying about that, bro. Because who gives a fuck? Same shit. The same shit. The same shit Eminem just did. It's the same shit Meg did in no fucking song. And you ain't see all these fans crying about it, bro. It's, but, you know, it's to be expected, bro, because the snowflake city and all these bitches is crazy. But um, we're going to get them something to cry about for real, dog. Who about to hit that Kim up right now? We doing, we, we got to, we got to, we got to. We revisiting Kim, bro. This time I got a video from Peter Parker. I don't know who this is, man, but the shit got 4 million views. came out five years ago. And according to the comments, the video go crazy, man. But before we tap in, man, make sure y'all pull up to shopstevenight.com for the drip. Like always, man. All my links for all my shit description box below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Check me out on, on my extra credit shit. Night watch, Patreon shit. And um, let's do it, dog. Let's do it, bro. They over here crying about some goddamn Houdini, bro. And Eminem or Slim Shady was back in the day dropping shit like this. How difficult was the divorce? I thought I was tough enough to stick it out with Kim, but I wasn't tough enough to juggle through things at once. I found myself. Oh, look at Tay's baby girl. It's Tay's baby. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. Yesterday I changed your diaper, wiped you, and powdered you. How did you get so pink? Can't believe it. Now you too. Hey, but you're so precious. Daddy's so proud of you. Sit down, bitch, and move again. I'll beat the shit out of you. Don't make me wake this baby. She don't need to see what I'm about to do. Quit crying, bitch. Why you always make me shout at you? How could you just leave me and love him out the blue? Aw, oh, what's the matter, Kim? Am I too loud for you? Too bad, bitch. You're gonna finally hear me out this time. At first, I'm like, ah. Look at him! He ain't so high now, is he? Little punk! 
so wrong. I don't wanna go on living in this world without you. How do we get so fucking soft? That's a loaded question, bro. That's a loaded question, bro. You know what I mean? Ow, I don't even feel like diving into the thick of that shit at all, bro. But it's exhausting to think about. They're trying to cancel Slim back then for this shit, bro. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. But this song would be, it would be impossible for a song to be released like this today, bro. These 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 girls out here, oh the world out here, the male feminists out here, would <laughs> what they do. <laughs> Motherfucker be sitting in the corner playing with their pussy, crying about a dog with these whole asses, man. This is like thinking about it now, like giving them something to cry about now. Like even with this shit, this shit, this shit is still nothing to cry about, bro. It's music, it's art. Cuz was feeling some type of way and wanted to put it on record, dog. Of course, Cuz wouldn't go out here and do this shit. You really fucked me, Kim. You really did a number on me. Have a new me team knowing you would come back to haunt me. Mm. But we was kids then, Kim. I was only 18. That was years ago. I thought we wiped the slate clean. That's fucked up. I, I said, love you. Oh, God. My brain is racing. Oh. Really what are you doing? Taste the stakes. And I hate this song. Does this look like a big joke? There's a fucking wrong little laying dead with a slit throat in your living room. <laughs> You think I'm kidding you? <laughs> you loved him, didn't you? <laughs> Bullshit, you bitch! Don't fucking lie to me! What the fuck is this guy's problem on the side of me? Fuck you, asshole! Yeah, bite me! Kim! Jim! Why don't you like me? <laughs> you think I'm ugly, don't you? It's not! No, you think I'm ugly! Get the fuck away from me! Don't touch me! I hate you! I hate you! Here trying to goddamn give people a reason to cry for real, for real. Even though shit should make you cry, dog. I'm just trying to show you the levels for the motherfuckers that don't know. But everybody here does know. But the, folks, the ones that don't know, send the shit to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, the damn song is hard, bro. Outside of the damn crazy shit he's talking about, bro. But like, cuz really putting you in this mental space, bro. In order, for, in order for this man to write some shit like this, you know how the hell Kim had this man feeling, dog. And I'm plenty sure that's, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of other motherfucking men and women out here for that matter that have had these thoughts in their mind being placed in these situations, bro. Going to the, getting to the fucking breaking point, wanting to goddamn kill somebody because they getting done dirty, bro. But him rapping like this, the fucking song, the delivery, the imagery, the the, the vividness of actually placing you right there in his head, bro. Like, you motherfucker will feel psychotic looking at the situation through Eminem's lens, bro. I mean, Slim Shady was nuts, but that motherfucker was gifted, bro. It's like, you got the motherfucker that got, you got, you got, you have an individual with the balls to do a record like this, but then to do the record like this, bro. It's fire, bro. It's a fucking movie. We could have, hey, where you going? Get back here. You can't run from me, Kim. It's just us, nobody else. You're only making this harder on yourself. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Go ahead, yell. Here, I scream with you. Ah, oh, somebody help. Don't you get it, bitch? No one can hear you. Now shut the fuck up and get what's coming to you. <laughs> You were supposed to love me! Now please, bitch, please! Please, bitch, please! Please! So long, bitch, you did me 
I wouldn't even consider this one of M's craziest songs because I understand his perspective. Like we level when we when we gauge in the craziness from Slim Shady, like some that some shit is just there for the sole purpose of getting the people going. Like this had that element to it, but for at least for me, this was to place people in his mind to let everybody know what he's been going through. Like I, I she got me to the point where I want to become a homicidal maniac. You feel me? But like he got other songs like uh, as the world turns, guilty conscience. Um, criminal, kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 purposes for those songs were like to be a spectacle. You know what I mean, this wasn't that, bro. This was like artistically genius, man. But with the screaming, where you actually feel this motherfucker's pain, dog. And he's not. This ain't no silly shit, bro. I mean, you best believe Slim was feeling this fucking way. But this was therapeutic for him to put this shit on record like this to show the world what, how he was actually feeling. You know what I'm saying? But then you're going to have these little snowflakes and shit. We think, oh, well, he can't be putting shit like this on record because it has the potential to, like, make people do certain things. We can influence the listeners. No, bro, that's their fault. That's on them. That ain't, that ain't on him. He ain't got nothing to do with what people do and how they respond to this fucking music, bro. That's, that all come down to that goddamn person, bro. If there's some shit I can put in words that make you do some dumb shit, bro, that's on your fucking dumb ass, dog. It ain't got nothing to do with fucking Slim Shady, bro. But, you know, now I'm sitting there having the conversation everybody had when he was doing this thing back in the day. Similar conversations now with this whole Meg Thee Stallion shit, bro. But it's just like, you know, what, what, are, we, what are we talking about here? Really? What are we talking about here, bro? Um, and, it, like, this was fun to revisit and shit, man. But the conversation doesn't even have anything to do with what M is actually talking about, bro. Like... The Meg the Stallion shit was just entitlement of women to not feel like they can get it too. That's the entitlement that that feminism has given women today, where they feel like you know um, Eminem, the audacity of Eminem to even mention Meg the Stallion's name or speak on the trauma she's had. Nah, bitch, everybody can get it, bro. And it wasn't even nothing to be got, bro. The, really, the conversation has nothing to do with what Eminem was saying. The conversation is all about how entitled the the people that were pissed about it all like the juice wasn't worth the squeeze with this shit bro and it's partly due to, because it is eminem he's such a, a big polarizing figure dog whatever he does is gonna be seen with a microscope so when he drops some shit like that make the stallion shit of course he's gonna get the motherfuckers going there is that but now most of the most of the sensitivity towards it was just motherfuckers as victims they entitled and fuck them you feel me so um, hopefully we get a whole lot more of that shit with this, uh, Death of Slim Shady shit, bro. You know what I mean? Well, of course we're going to get a whole lot more of it. I just, I hope, I hope he dig in. I hope he digs in more, bro. I hope he, you know, jabs that knife in a couple of times and punches that motherfucker that much deeper, bro. Just slice and dice the whole world and just expose all this shit so everybody can, all these snowflakes can hold a mirror up to themselves so they can see how much of a bitch they really are. And it's crazy that 51-year-old Marshall Mathers has to reincarnate Slim Shady to do this shit, bro. <laughs> Marshall about to come around here and say the goddamn word, bro. Let's get it.